fans of all ages, welcome to Staff Gymnasium, home of the 2016 Rotary Holiday Tournament. This is the consolation game between Classical High School out of Providence and Charlestown High School. The championship game will include Brockton High and BC High, the two victors of yesterday's games. Classical wearing their away purple jerseys, white trim. Charlestown, on the other hand, their home grays with blue, red, and white trim. Nancy L. Poirier over to Sadat Arroyo. Arroyo holding now in for number 23, Tyreek Phillips. Phillips driving in, tries to lay it up, was fouled on his way in, and will be at the charity stripe for two shots. Missing his first was Phillips. One of two and Charlestown strikes first. Number 21, Malik Chase, the captain of this purple team. Over to Kenneth Hill. Hill turning it over to Summer Shardy. There's a scrum on the floor between well, almost a backcourt violation. Hill stepped over the line, but the ref did not call it. Three on the shot clock. Hill stops, pops for three. It will be way wide and a shot clock violation called against Classical. Fouled on his way in. Anakin Oaken called for this foul. Summer Shardy for three is no good. Kenneth Hill over to Vincent Welsh. Turns the ball over to Summer Shardy. Summer Shardy in. Pips pops off the glass. No good. Charlestown with the offensive board. Poirier coming down with it. Can't handle it. Welsh comes down with it for the purple. Hill off of the leg of Phillips. And Classical will call a timeout. Six minutes remaining in the first quarter. One to nothing the score. The Charlestown Townies lead the classical purple. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. I will soon be joined by my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. Nothing the score. Charles down on top of classical. Charles down in yesterday's action against Brockton gave Brockton a run for their money. A very highly competitive game in which Brockton was able to pull away in the final 45 seconds to win by five. Like Chase losing this one out of bounds. Charles down takes over. working his way in, spinning, tries underhanded layup, no good, Chase comes down with it for Classical. He gives it over to Hill, back to Chase. Chase back to Hill. Now over to Welsh, and his three is no good. Arroyo coming down with the rebound. Dot Arroyo called for the travel. Whoa, whoa. 
5.22 to go. The score remains one to nothing. Chase working his way in, he lays it up, no good. Charlestown coming up with the rebound. Arroyo to Summer Shardy, his three is good. And the first field goal of the game comes three minutes into the first quarter. Four to nothing the score. The three to one rather, classical. Down to Charlestown. Chase for three is no good. Charleston coming up with the rebound. Now Poriet for three, air ball out of bounds, but it was saved. Now Sedan Arroyo with it. Arroyo down low for Phillips, no good out of bounds off of Charleston. Five to nothing score. Uh, six to nothing the score rather. It is Charlestown on top of Classical. Some confusion with the scoreboard up here. Number 35 spinning in. Classical has their first points of the day. That was Amadou Kaba. Six to two the score now. Charleston on top. Poriet for three is good. Kenneth Hill, That's number 13 for the purple, getting ready to come in, Captain Daniel Licht. Chase laying it up, no good, out of bounds. Off of Lionel James. And number three for the purple, Victor Concepcion Santiago coming out of the game as we take a look at in a CL Poriet's three, widely uncontested. And that's what gave Charlestown the nine to two lead. Go in here, Kai! Hill over to Lich. Out of bounds off of classical. Number 11 coming in, Daniel Carlin. He replaces Number 23, that is Anakin Oaken. Arroyo looking for Uded, does not connect. Chase laying it off the glass, and in nine to four now the score, Charleston on top. Arroyo in for James. Summer Shardy for three, no good. Chase coming down with the rebound, spinning around a number of counties. Gives it over to Hill. Hill stops, pops short, two is good. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the first quarter, nine to six the score. Charleston on top of Classical. Summer Shardy over to Lionel James, over to Ansel Poriot. Over to Sedona Royal. Summer Shardy now driving his way inside. Loses it, gets it back. Loses it again. A scrum on the floor. Classical comes away with it. Kenneth Hill lays it up and has it blocked by Lionel James. Lionel James the other way looking for transition. Kicks it out to Sedona Royo. Pump fake works his way inside. Now puts up the shot off the back of the rim. No good. Franklin Uda coming down with it. He gives it to Summer Shardy. His two no good. Classical comes down with this one. Kenneth Hill all the way in, has a block, taps it over to Carlin, his long two, no good. Gets his own rebound, that is no good. Uda coming down with the rebound, he taps it over to Poriet. Poriet to Arroyo. Arroyo back to Anacel Poriet, over to Summer Shardy, his three is good. And a timeout called by the head coach of Charlestown, Edson Cardoza.
We take a look at that big block by Lionel James. Able to follow that and save it from going out of bounds. Minute 25 to go, Charlestown doubling up. Classical 12 to six the score. Number 13, Daniel Licht. Over the hill, too strong for him. Chase coming up with it. His short jumper is good. Don Arroyo, a long three, no good. Carlin coming down with the rebound, over to Hill. Hill over to Chase, a long three is no good. Bounces up and Carlin comes down with the rebound. Able to throw it out off of Franklin Uda. And Classical retains possession. Hill for a long three, no good. Uda coming down with the rebound, 35 seconds to go. Anacel Poirier over to Summer Shardy. Stops and pops for two is good. 14 to eight now, shot clock is off with 22 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Blake Chase losing it and going out of bounds. It was not looking for the pass. Charlestown hanging on for the last shot with about 10 seconds left. Summer Shardy working his way in, kicks it out to Lionel James, out to Poriet. Five seconds now on the clock. Poriet working his way inside, long two, no good. And it goes out of bounds as the buzzer sounds. The score at the end of the first quarter, 14 to eight. The Charlestown Townies on top of Classical Purple in this consolation game of the 2016 Rotary Holiday Tournament. Again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action courtside. We'll soon be joined by my broadcast partner, big game, Miles Jackson. Classical falling by about two dozen points to the Boston College High School Eagles in their first round matchup last night, Charlestown Losing by five to Brockton. And those two teams, Brockton and BC High, will go at it a little bit later on in the championship game. Those two teams, a rematch. A couple of weeks ago, BC High was able to defeat the boxers right here at Staff Gymnasium. Hill, second quarter underway now. Hill to chase for a long two, no good. Sadat Arroyo. Shardy in for number 42, fresh into the game, Natera James. To Garcia, whose shot fell out of bounds. So 
Summer Shardy stopping, kicking it out to James, his three, no good. Only Chase coming down with the rebound for Glasgow. He loses it to Jose Garcia. Summer Shardy out to Arroyo. Arroyo in for Uda. Uda working his way inside, turns it over to Amadou Kaba. Hill to Chase. Chase for a long three is good. Class going to the double digits, 14 to 11 the score. Hakeem Summer Shardy driving inside, kicks it out to James. James for two, no good. Uda tapping the rebound to Jose Garcia, to Summer Shardy, pump fake, kicks it out to James. And James is called for the travel. Over to Natera James, number 10, getting ready to come in. That is Michael Crittenden Williams. Sadat Arroyo behind the back, kicks it up to Summer Shardy. Summer Shardy losing it. Over to Arroyo. Arroyo setting up the townie offense. Uda with the floater, no good, gets his own rebound. Kicks it out to Summer Shardy for three is no good. Franklin Uda coming down with it. Uda spinning, finds a lane to the basket, count it in, one Franklin Uda. The six foot six junior forward. There's only two seniors on this team, this Townies team that is. Anacel Poirier is one of them. And Oaken replaces Amadou Kaba for the purple. And Uda converts on the free throw. 17 to 11 the score. Hill tripped up from behind. Hey, elbow, 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 call elbow. Call Summer Shardy. Chase in for Hill. Hill working against Summer Shardy. 525 left to go in the second quarter. Chase slipping on his way in is fouled by Uda. Rather, Crittenden Ryan, Ryan, Williams Ryan. called for that foul. Chase working his way inside and he is called for the travel. Quinton Williams turning the ball over to Chase. Chase off the glass and he's called for the offensive foul as he charged it near Terry James. Chase comes out. Excellent job there by Natera James to set his feet and draw that charge. Over to Summer Shardy for three is no good. Carlin to Hill now with about 440 to go in the second quarter. 17 to 11 the score, Charleston on top. Purple. 
over to Malik Chase. Chase driving in, long floater, no good. Taken by Natari James. He gets it to Crittenden Williams. Now Uda fouled from behind. Both teams with almost did a one in one. Five against the purple and four fouls against the townies. Number 32, Junior Martinez in the game, 5'9", senior guard. His three, no good. Chase underhanding for Welsh, his three is good. Back to a one possession game, 17 to 14 the score. Crittenden Williams fouled on his way in by number 23 of the purple, Anakin Oaken. Tara James to this ball in play all the way out to Jose Garcia. Garcia over to Martinez. Martinez to back to James. James in for Uda. Uda spinning, trying to find an open lane to the basket. Tara James pump fakes the cross to Garcia, and his floater is good. 19 to 14 the score. Charlestown hanging on to that five point edge. And we will see Victor Santiago again for the purple. Welsh to Chase. Chase long two, no good. Charleston coming down with the rebound. Take a look at Garcia's floater right there. Our Poor, poor camera guy, Nubia Ratto. Looks like he got run into at the end there. Boy, Chase, laying it up off the glass and in. 19-16 now the score. Three point ball game, Charleston on top. Garcia over to Martinez, Martinez to James. James to Crittenden Williams. Back to Martinez, pump fake. Bounces in for Uda, spinning with it. No good, and Oaken coming down with it for the purple. Kenneth Hill, a little bit high for Welsh. Oaken shot, no good. Charleston coming down with the rebound. Garcia for three, no good. Welsh coming down with the rebound. Hill creating some space off the glass, no good, but he was fouled and will be at the charity strike for two shots. Counties Terry Phillips replaces Franklin Uda. Brendan Williams to James. James for Garcia. Garcia looking for Phillips, who was fouled from behind. and one situation for the townies. Phillips at the line, if he makes his first, he will get a second. 
Purple have seven fouls against them as a team. And Phillips does indeed make his first shot. Twenty-one seventeen. Now the score. Charleston on top. Welsh for three, no good. Uncontested rebound for Jose Garcia. Tara James, Williams, back to Garcia. Garcia across for James. Down low for Phillips, spinning, counted in. One for Tariq Phillips. Chase called for that foul. Santiago, Santiago stopping and Chase comes up with it. Kicked out of bounds by Cody Phillips. Hill coming back in the game. He replaces go, hey, go two. Black two, Chase. Black two. Okay, black two. Hill in for Santiago. Back to Hill, 30 seconds remaining, 26 on the shot clock. Indiana, 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 go! Hill over to Welsh. Welsh to Santiago. Santiago for three is no good. Offensive rebound by Welsh, whose floater is good on the putback. 24 to 19, six seconds left. Martinez. Over to Crittenden Williams, his three is good as the buzzer sounds. Michael Crittenden Williams for three as the half expires. 27 to 19 the score at halftime. We're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. It's not always easy being a dad. Do you have panda asthma too? Does that run in the family? This is the home of the most priceless kung fu artifacts. But when you make an effort. Dad, we're not supposed to touch anything. Oh, sorry. Go along, son. It's always worth it. Whoa, master. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's <laughs> life. Take time to be a dad today. I am gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Classical High School Purple and the Charleston Townies. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and Santa has delivered a last minute present during halftime. That would be the arrival of big game Miles Jackson. Miles, we saw these two teams last night. A highly competitive game here. Charleston's up by eight points. Miles. This game doesn't mean much for either of the teams that are playing for third place, but there's a lot of pride on the line. Oh, definitely a lot of pride. You know, it's the holiday. Um, I'm sure Charlestown wants to beat this team from Rhode Island. Rhode Island wants to beat the city team, Charlestown. So I'm sure there's a lot of effort and our determination from both teams this evening. This is Kenneth Hill. Summer Shardy ran into pretty hard there by Malik Chase. Cabo on the putback, and it finds its way in. Yeah, that was good offensive boards right there for the classical. Here you go, here you go. Sadat Arroyo into Phillips over to Summer Shardy. Back to Arroyo down low. It's spin around go, jumper, no go. good. Malik Chase coming down with it. He has Welsh, but the pass was tipped, and Summer Shardy comes away with it for the Townies. Rebound. James able to tip it out to Anisel Poriot. Arroyo 
in for Tariq Phillips. Now Poirier for three is good. Ooh. Nice shot right there. He squared up nicely there at the top of the key. 30 to 21 the score. Charleston up by nine. Hill to Chase. Chase a long two, no good. Phillips coming down with the rebound. He gets it over to number 35, Lionel James, out to Sadat Arroyo. Arroyo working his way inside, kind of flings it looking for Phillips. Intercepted by the purple. Yeah, he got caught in a crowd right there. So Mashardi tripped up, able to tip it to Lionel James. Gets the loose rebound and was not able to put it up. Hill on the other end. Taken off the edge of the rim by Poirier. Now Lionel James in alone. He lays it up and in. Yep, safest uh, shot in basketball, the, the layup. Carl Pierre for the Boston College High School Eagles last night. Missed a one-handed dunk. I asked the coach about it in the post-game interview. I said, is he going to get any ribbing? He says, of course he is. He missed a wide open layup. Exactly. Hill for three is Ooh. good. It's a nice shot right there with a man on him. Lionel James stopping and popping. 32 to 23 the score. The problem with that shot, he kind of aimed the shot when he, instead of just naturally going up. And like you said, stopping and popping. What he did was stop, aim, and pop. Summer Shardy called for the travel. Yeah, I mean, that was an ob obvious travel. I don't know why he's uh, come trying to uh, plead his case. Not much of a case to plead. Exactly. We're getting in the action here, Mad Absolutely. Dog. There we go. Got a little excited there. Basketball came right your way. Wanted to get out on the court. Arroyo with it with 4.56 left to go. His layup no good. Three on one up court for the purple. Hill with the layup. Nice move by the small guard there. Summer Shardy for three is good. You know, and he did that last night against the boxes a couple of times, so he does have a shot. He has to be open to make that shot because of his height. You could D that up. 35-26 now Hill. Good offensive board there for Kaba. Yeah, nice job by Kaba. He stayed right with the um, shot, saw the rebound where it went. will be Anakin Oaken called for the block. Santiago in for Hill. And Carlin also coming in the game as we take a look at that replay. I know James drawing the foul. James working his way inside. Floats it out for Poriot. Back to James to Poriot for three is no good. Only Chase coming down with the uncontested rebound. Chase fouled by Phillips, who thought he had all ball. Sadat Arroyo called for that foul. Jose Garcia and Franklin Uda coming in the game there. Please, Phillips and Summer Shardy. Yeah, got a couple of big guys coming in. Lionel James. 
Off the glass and in nice. 37 to 30. Nice decision, he saw the opening. Took it right to the hoop. See, and you see what the coach did for Classical, excuse me, for uh, Charlestown. Classical cut the lead down to about five points. And uh, coach for uh, Charlestown, that's enough, and he sent in a couple of big guys. Uda down low, laying it up, counted and one as he draws the block against Malik Chase. Nice drive by the big man, number 14. You can see it right here, it goes up strong. The defensive player almost had his position, but just a little bit too late in the paint. Uda missing his free throw attempt. Kaba coming down with it. Crittenden Williams in for Sedan Arroyo. And a good block there by Franklin Uda. I didn't see a follow on that one. I think it was the body that because it was definitely a clean block, but he might have been um, he might have got him with the body. Oh. Did look clean. Uh, I don't know about that. Because it was your, your buddy there who retired last yes. year, pulled a Brett Favre. Back for another back round. Back for more. He said basketball season came around and it started itching again for it, so came out of retirement. Is it really retirement if you don't even yeah. take one season off, though? <laughs> Top of offensive boards for the purple, but... Crittenden Williams coming down with this. He gets it over to Anacel Poriot. His long two is no good. Go, go, go. Two and a half to go in the third quarter. 39-30 in this consolation game of the 2016 Rotary Holiday Tournament. Natera James sending it long for Poriot who lays it up. No oh. good. Let him just a tiny bit. He's going just a little yeah, bit too, too fast. fast. Yeah, yeah. Malik Chase stopping, popping, air ball brought down by Natera James. Crittenden Williams driving inside. His floater is good, 41 to 30. Yeah, nice floater inside the paint. That's what coaches like to see. His play is going to the basket. Chase working his way inside off the glass, no good. Tips his own rebound to Welsh. Now Carlin for two, no good. Chase coming down with the rebound. Out to Santiago. In for Caba. Caba spinning off the glass Ooh. and in. He was being assaulted by Franklin Uda and yeah. was able to put the shot up anyway. Yeah, that was a pretty move by um the classical player. You know, Luda on the other side. Layup no good. Garcia unable to keep the rebound in. Yeah, on that last possession of uh, classical, they got three opportunities. Finally on the fourth opportunity, the big man puts it in. Nice little post, post up move underneath. Jason Rezendi in the game now for the Townies, the six foot two freshman. Six foot two is a guard. That's a scary, and he's only a freshman. You can see right here the guy puts the speed on, and he is fouled, just barely fouled, looks like. Hill at the line under a minute to go. 53 seconds left, 41 to 32. Charleston on top. Yeah, Hill, very fast player. As you saw in the replay, he put a burst of speed on when he went to the basket. He's got a nice touch at the free throw line. Two of two at the line was Hill, 41 to 34 the score. 
45 seconds to go. Garcia over to Resendi. Resendi over to Crittenden Williams. Crittenden Williams driving in. And Charlestown, uh, classical rather, takes over. And fouled was Santiago. Yeah, he Michael just, Crittenden Williams called for the hold. Yeah, Sant Santiago just took a swipe at the ball and caught the arm of the uh, Providence player. Classical calling a timeout with 34.1 to go in the third quarter. I want to thank the cast and crew for tonight's festivities. This consolation game, the 2016 Rotary Holiday Tournament. Start in the truck for this one at the helm. Our fearless leader, the award-winning director and producer, Paul Mandeville. I feel so much better now that I know Paul's down in the uh, truck. Absolutely. Of course, with yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton is Mike the Postman Simmons. And Mike's uh, daughter, a real cutie, showing, uh, showing me what she got from Santa Claus. Absolutely. A real, real cool watch. She showed me how it works, too. Lights up. Lights you, right I, ne up. I never had a watch that lights up. Me neither. And, and, you know, I, my first watch, I didn't get till I was about seventh grade. That young lady, Santa was good to her. Absolutely. Of course, Aaron Tebow is down there in a coots. We got all the veterans down there. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Got the A-team working tonight. You got to. You got to. Welsh for three, no good. Charleston coming down with the rebound. Out of bounds. Off of Charlestown. Up here on camera, of course, we have Rob Curry, John Pinto, and who could forget? The six-time award-winning director and producer and Emmy-nominated. Newbie Reto. Newbie Reto. Speaking of Mike's daughter, right before this game started, we got little Sophia to correctly say Newbie's name with the entire title in there. Wow, yes. Poor Mike is going to be listening to six-time award-winning director and producer and Emmy-nominated Newbie Ratto all night long. And she said it very well for a, uh, how old, two years, two and a half? I think, she's, I think she just turned three in June. <laughs> of course, Mrs. Jackson is in the house. Yes, yes. Mrs. Kathy Jackson. <laughs> Resendi, bouncing this one in for James. Back to Resendi, the freshman guard, in for Franklin Uday. He's spinning one-handed hook shot. Wow, that was just like a power move inside that the uh, Charlestown player used. Chase floater, air ball, Kaba coming down with the rebound. Fouled on his way up by Crittenden Williams. Yeah, you can see the inside move on Kaba. Just a basic power move inside. And Kaba comes right back. Kaba counted in one. Chase called for the block. Kaba looks like, I know I have came in on the first, second half here, but he looks like he's having a pretty good game compared to yesterday. He was kind of quiet yesterday. Point seven seconds. Expires after that foul shot. The third quarter has come to an end. 43 to 36 the score. Charlestown Town, he's on top of the Providence Classical Purple. A very highly competitive game in which the score was one to nothing three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Gets a lot of butterflies for the consolation game. Fairly decent sized crowd. So people are starting to fill in for the championship game. 
between the Boston College High School Eagles and the Brockton Boxers. This big game, Miles Jackson and myself with the number one sweater this side of the Mississippi. Speaking of number one, where's your um, foam number one that uh, the athletic director gave you the other day? The kids got their hands on it. Well, that's a good enough excuse. <laughs> Malik Chase fouled on his way in, put the shot up anyway. Hand check called against Lionel James, a six foot two junior forward. Now Classical still has an opportunity to, to get closer in this game. The only problem is Charlestown as a whole, they're a little bit more athletic as a team than Classical is. And, and that's going to be Classical's problem. They're going to have to take advantage of any Charlestown mistakes. Like right there, traveling. Classical needs to come back down the court and score a basket anytime there's a turnover. Sadat Arroyo called for that travel. All five Charlestown starters back on the floor. Chase for three, no good, did not follow his shot. Santiago over to Welsh, Welsh to Hill. Hill pump fake kicks it out, back to Welsh. Down low for Hill, short two, no good. Cabo with the putback layup is good. Yeah, big, big, big uh, basket right there by Cabo. Glasgow needs to play tough D like they've been doing the last few minutes. Make uh, Charlestown work for the bass for the shot. Arroyo in for James. There's a mismatch right there. James with a short two, no good. Hill coming down with the rebound. Charlestown with the full court press up to Chase. Chase to Welsh for three is no good. Offensive rebound for the Purple. Welsh getting his own shot. Yeah, good hustle right there by Welsh. Charlestown moving without the ball before they had possession. Allows Classical to get a few more opportunities. On the putback, Malik Chase is good. Back to a one possession ball game, 43 to 40. Classical catching up. Yeah, that was good offensive position by Classical down at the other end of the court to get that second attempt to be put back in. That's what they have to do. They have to fight underneath the boards with this athletic uh, Charlestown team. Lionel James off the inbound, quickly up off the glass and in. Hill out to Chase. Sure, he almost traveled. Chase working his way in off the glass, no good. Poriot coming down with the rebound, trying to create some space, able to do so. Looking for James out of bounds. Charleston. They're going to well, they're call, gonna it, call, a, they're gonna call it a jump ball. And wow. I believe it's going to stay a Charlestown possession. The Providence coach asked us if we had a replay of it. We do. The have answer replay. is, of course, we do. <laughs> I believe it was deflected, but Santiago in alone lays it up and Ooh. in. Gee, I, I always get nervous on those layups where they don't use they, the backboard. Yeah. You know, they just kind of put it up there. Here's the replay of that. And it looked like it hit the Charlestown player. It does. But it was poetic justice. Classical got the ball right back and scored. Wow. That almost could have been a foul. With the, that could have been a three-point play there. There was body contact. 45 to 44 the score. Charlestown on top by one. Summer Shardy with it. One handing it in for Phillips. Phillips to Arroyo. 
Roy Oaks is Summer Shardy. That could have been called a travel. Yeah, could have been called a travel. Summer Shardy with it again, taking three steps, and he's fouled on his way in. Wow, let's see the replay. Nice. Look at that. That was a foul. He should have been to the basket for a, a third point. Nice uh, job right there with the camera. Catching all the action. Summer Shardy hitting his first attempt, 46 to 44 the score. And 2-2 two two at the line and replaced by Jose Garcia. Well, he took a tumble right there when he went to the basket. Charlestown with the press. Santiago with it. Turning it over to Phillips. Phillips quickly giving it to Sadat Arroyo. Arroyo, that one definitely deflected off of classical. Anisel Poriot to Jose Garcia. Garcia softly in for Lionel James off the glass and in. Nice job right there by Garcia. Big basket for uh, Charlestown. They needed that one. Kenneth Hill now, five point ball game for the Townies. Santiago over to Hill. Hill driving now from the free throw line, no good. James coming down with the rebound for Charlestown. Long three for Garcia, no good. Arroyo tapping the rebound to Phillips off the glass, no good. And Classical coming away with the rebound. Hill again from the free throw line, this one no good. Arroyo coming down with the rebound now for the Townies over to Poriot for two, no good. Gets his own rebound, tried to throw it out of bounds off of Kenneth Hill. Just missed his leg and Classical takes over. Yeah, both teams the last couple of times have been kind of cold. And that's the third out, third shot that uh, Classical has missed coming down. All outside jumpers. Two fifty left to go in this contest. 49 to 44 the score. Start Arroyo turns it over to Santiago. Santiago to Welsh. Welsh driving inside, short two off the glass around wow. the world and out. And coming down with the rebound was Tyreek Phillips. Classical, no, no luck with the ball going in the basket. The last four times they've come down the court, they've missed every shot. So right now, Classical's in a real cold streak. Classical calling a timeout. And uh, lucky, luckily for Classical, Charlestown really hasn't done a lot to take advantage of the uh, cold play of uh, Classical. 228 to go, 49 to 44. Charles down up by five. This game by no stretch of the imagination out of reach for the purple. No way whatsoever with 228. Like you said, five points down. Anything can happen. And I gotta give classical credit for hanging in there. Again, like I said, Charlestown looks like the little bit better athletic team, but Classical has hung in there, played their positions underneath, got some big rebounds, offensive rebounds, and um, that's why it's a five-point lead. was too easy. Uda laying it up and in, 51 to 44 now the score. Kenneth Hill setting up the purple offense. Not a lot of movement without the ball there, Miles. No, everybody's standing still. 
Welsh driving baseline, no good. Kava comes down with the rebound off the glass a little bit too hard. Yeah. And Charleston comes down with it. Anisel Poriet for three is no good. Rebound. Offensive board for Uda, counted in one. Yeah, he hung tough right underneath the basket, got the rebound, was fouled, basically hammered underneath. You'll see it right here. Sets his position and goes up and is, uh, like you said, hammered right there in the face, but still made the shot. Charleston jumped a little bit early from the line. 53 to 44 the score. Charleston up by nine. Out of bounds off of Malik Chase for the purple. It's a very scary BC high team is warming up behind us. Jose Garcia working his way inside, underhanded go, finger go, roll, go. no good. Welsh coming away with it for Classical. Welsh all the way in, finds a lane off the glass and in. Ooh, nice decision by Welsh. You saw the open lane went right to the basket. Right off the backboard and in. Garcia all the way in off the glass and in. Anything you can do, I can do better, exactly. says Jose Garcia. Exactly. A three for Welsh, wide left. Poriot to Garcia off the glass, blocked by Welsh. A timeout's been called by Classical. An interesting situation, like a 15 second timeout. That wasn't officially called a timeout, but was a timeout. Well, I'll tell you where classical um, miscued in this ball game was right here at the end. These last couple of minutes, they just got cold on the on the floor. Couldn't hit a shot. Couldn't buy a shot. I think they came down four or five times and missed every time. And at the time when they started that slide, they was only five points uh, behind uh, Charlestown. So, unfortunately, with 47 seconds left, they are now down by 11. Hill for three, no good. Chase coming down with the rebound, was fouled on his way up. Thirty-five point two on the clock. We'll be talking with uh, at this point what one would assume would be victorious head coach of Charlestown, Edson Cardozo after the game. Coriot coming away with this. Charlestown going to waste as much of the clock as possible. Out to Coriot. Four second difference between shot clock and game clock. Charlestown playing keep away and Poirier followed by Welsh. Twenty one point three shot clock is off. Anisel Poirier is at the line for two. Or a one on one situation rather. Hits his first he will get a second. Twenty seconds to go. Now Hill for three is good. 
And a timeout called by Classical. 59 to 50, 14.1 on the clock. Classical calling a timeout. Why? Why not? <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> 59 to 50, Charleston on top, looking like they're gonna take third place in this Rotary Holiday Tournament. Championship game coming up momentarily between the Boston College High School Eagles and the Brockton Boxers and Charlestown, uh, rather classical, calling another timeout. There he is. Get ready for some good b-ball tonight with Boston College and Brockton, except for eight o'clock. Good game, rematch, we'll see what happens. There you have it, one of our best refs in the league, Steve Altimus. Semi-retired, Semi -retired. not really. Traded to the Vikings, retiring again, playing for the Jets. He's gonna retire after the season. Uh, Starring a few Wrangler commercials. Yeah, it's just in him. <laughs> Fourteen point one Charleston with the ball, fifty-nine to fifty. The immediate foul, an entire one point three seconds coming off the clock. And I'm sure this will be Clasco's last possession if they can get it down the court without it, it uh, turning it over and take the last shot of this ball game. Kenneth Hill to Santiago, Santiago to Hill. A long three is good. And a timeout called by Classical. 59 to 53. It should be about 4.7 on the clock. It ticked all the way down to 3.2 before that timeout was whistled. Again, I tell you, if Classical didn't go into that rut there near the end of the game, they would have. Um, this would have been a little bit closer and interesting game. The discussion between the classical coach and the ref is there should be some more time on there. And the ref said, yeah, maybe about two, two tenths. Won't make much of a difference in the end. Classical coming up with it. Welsh for three air ball and on the rebound attempt, Chase laying it up, no good. The buzzer sounds, this game is over. The final score, 59 to 53. Charlestown takes third place classical will come in dead last in the 2016 Rotary Holiday Tournament. Yes, exactly, and uh, again, Classical gave it a good try. Um, they just came up a little short against this um, tough, fast town on Charlestown team. And um, I guess Matt's gonna go over and try to talk to the uh, winning coach uh, for uh, Charlestown. And um, after this, uh, we got the big game coming up, Brockton going up against BC High. And um, We've got Matt getting ready to talk to the winning coach of this um, consolation tournament. So Matt, go ahead, take it away. We're here with victorious head coach Edson Cardozo. Coach, third place in the Rotary Holiday Tournament. A very good effort put forth by you guys today. Absolutely, a little bit more energy today. Um, we play a little bit harder. We still have to work on our, our boxing out, but you know we'll take the W. The tag team of Poriet and Summer Shardy really put uh, Classical in a hole early. The outside shooting of Summer Shardy really did it. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we want to get a lot of shots up when we can, mid-range shots, three-pointers, and um, if we continue to do that, we'll be successful. Speaking of yeah, Summer Shardy. He's so small. <laughs> he's so small. 
Yeah. Hey, I get the shots off and they drop. <laughs> Coach, what was the game plan coming in? Uh, you didn't know, uh, it, well, last night you did know who you were going to be playing in yep. Providence. I'm sure you haven't seen too much of this team. How did you prepare for this game? Well, we did have some game film from last night, so I did break down the game film and, and, and got a good idea of what they run. But we knew that they were scrappy, the big men's aggressive, but we wanted to make sure we ran our offense, scored as many laps as we can, and, and finish the game. Well, Charleston getting the victory against Providence Classical. They placed third in the 2016 Rotary Holiday Tournament. For everyone here at BCA Sports, my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we'll see you for the championship game between BC High and Brockton right after this.